In this video, we're going to use the new Python feature in Excel to query a data set based on a date range. So what you see here is a preview of what we're going to create today. I have a data set of loan records to the left here. I have a begin and end date input cells to the right here. And in the middle, I have a Python driven query that updates automatically based on these dates here that are input. So if I change this to a different date, it's going to update automatically. Now, before we jump into this, I just need to mention that Python is only available to Office 365 subscribers who have the beta version. Now, if you have 365, but you don't have the beta, you can get it for free. I'll put a link in the video on how to get that. It's really just a test version that has all of the newest and latest features. Now keep in mind, although it's free, the people at Microsoft do say it's occasionally prone to bugs. So just keep that in mind. I guess the trade off there is that you get to see the latest things like this Python. So I'll put a link in the video so you can see how to get the beta version if you already have 365. This video is actually a correction video to one I posted last night. There was a line of code in that video that I realized was not even necessary for that to work. So it's going to be the same example, but with less code. So the first thing we need to do is create a data frame that holds our records here from our data set. So I'm going to come down here, type equals py, hit tab. That creates a Python input box where we can input our code. So we need to give our data frame a name because we're going to refer to it later in our code. So most folks just use the acronym DF. So I'm going to say DF is equal to and then go select our entire data set. Now here you need to hit control enter to actually input this. If you hit enter, Python thinks you want to come down on a new line and add more code. So I'll hit control enter that creates a data frame. If I click on this, it shows a preview of what's in it. So it shows the first five and the last five records in that data frame. If we want to see everything, I can come up here and click Excel value and it's going to show everything but for now I'm going to collapse that back so to collapse it you can click Python object so I'm going to hit F2 to go back into this and the next thing we want to do is create variables for our begin and end date cell values so we'll call this one begin date set that equal to the cell value I'm going to do the same thing for our end date and now we're going to create a new data frame called results and that is where our query is going to live so that is going to be equal to the data frame we created at the beginning and then we're going to use the query function on it now the query function inside the parentheses all of the code needs to be enclosed in double quotes so keep that in mind and since we have a date range variable criteria we need to begin with our begin date variable so to refer to a variable in your code you need to use the at symbol and then the variable name so we have at begin date and then less than equal to and then here we're going to refer to our column name our date column name so that's origination date and just to FYI you can't have spaces in your column header names so if you have that use underscores then another less than equal to sign and then we're going to reference our end date variable so that's at end date don't forget the closing double quote and parentheses so for now 
I'm going to hit control enter that's going to create a data frame so I'm going to come back up here and click Excel values and that shows results for everything that falls into this date range here now you probably noticed that Python by default the query output will create this index column that are just row numbers of where they're actually found over here it starts at zero though just FYI so if you don't want to display that what you can do is after this query you can say reset index drop equals true and that capitalization matters there so when I hit control enter you can see now it drops that index column so the final thing I want to show you is how you can sort this origination date column so we'll just create a new data frame called sorted and that is just going to be equal to our results data frame and we're going to use the sort values method and the syntax here is just the keyword by equal to and then in single quotes we're going to refer to our column name and if we don't want that index again we need to use this reset index again so I hit control enter and you can see now the dates are all sorted from oldest to newest and if I update the dates here this should update automatically and there it is well that is all for now thanks for watching